How do you keep yourself on track with your workouts and when you're out of town traveling? Well, this is a bit difficult, but then I find the more the world becomes fit, which I feel like it is, people are becoming more aware of fitness and gym and all that stuff. So it becomes more, it's becoming more easy, but it is hard. Like a lot of places you can find a gym. Like, I, I, I mean, I guess if you're like far out in the countryside, there's not gonna be a gym. I mean, you can always go, go for a walk or like do some press ups or like whatever. But um, that's a difficult one. When I, especially when I'm on prep, I haven't been able to go out of town or, or do fun things really. <laughs> or go, I can't go on holiday. Well, I went on holiday at the very beginning of my prep and uh, we just had to check before we went that the hotel had a gym and then it's a bit annoying. If you're gonna go on holiday, do it properly. Don't do it when you have to wake up and do fasted cardio every day, that's a bit crap. Um, but yeah, it is difficult, but you can normally find a way. Uh, Wonder how you're able to push and push yourself, even on the days you're so tired. When do you know you need a break? Okay, this is important. You have to know when you need a break. I can feel it. Like, I can feel when my body just cannot do cardio. Like, so, like I said, for the last two days, I haven't done fasted cardio because I just, I just didn't have the energy. And sometimes when you really know, you have to be honest about it. Don't just cop out because you think you're like, oh, I need a rest. But rest is just as important as eating well and training, if not more, because that is when your body heals itself and builds its muscle. If you don't sleep and rest enough, it, you, you can't function like that. Um, so you, a, lot of, a lot of girls I know will be like, no, 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 I'm gonna train every day, I'm gonna train every day, no rest, team, no days off, like blah, blah, blah. But like literally, that's, you have to have some days off. Like you, your body has to repair itself. Uh, but you learn your body as you go and you'll know when the time is right to have a break. Kaylee Clare said, did you like fast food slash restaurant food before training? And do you think training has changed your feelings towards foods we consider to be unhealthy? I think I posted this next one on Instagram, but I'll post again. Is there any particular indulgent food that you're thinking of ingesting after you compete? <laughs> Please see the title of documentary. <laughs> I will be eating a lot, a lot of donuts when I finish my competition. Um, that's all I think about 90% of the day. Donuts and chocolate brownies. Um, you've distracted me. Uh, yes, but fast food, yes, fast food. I didn't really, I said this, um, I, I was saying this to Carly, like I never really fancy, I never really liked fast food before. I never really ate, um, I didn't really, really like, like McDonald's and all that crap. Um, but I do like restaurant food. I really like eating out. And I guess it's not, yeah, it's not always healthy. Um, I like unhealthy foods. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not trying to pretend I don't like some unhealthy foods. Like, I love donuts. We all know that. Um, I like cheese, chips, everything. But, you know, you just have to be aware that you can't eat that 24-7. It's everything in moderation. Um, I love eating out and restaurant food. Eating out is my favorite thing to do, restaurants and... Uh, um, yeah, especially steak restaurants nowadays. Um, but uh, yeah, so we'll be going uh, and uh, indulging after the show on donuts and steak. Um, okay, now we've got Gary Goosh Ratcliffe, who says, what's your favorite donut to indulge on? And is there any food or drink that is banned that you have mad cravings for? Uh, yes, donuts, like uh, donuts to everything. Donuts to all the answers, right? Is there a favorite donut? Well, Krispy Kremes are my absolute favorite in all the world. Um, okay, how long do you see yourself maintaining your focus to keep bodybuilding? And is acting off the cards in the future? Keep doing, keep going, you're doing amazing. You're inspiring a lot of people. That's very nice. Um, it, it makes me really happy when people say that I've inspired them to get up and go to the gym, that's really cool. Um, uh, I will still keep bodybuilding. I, I, I don't know if I'll keep, keep competing. I don't think it's a lifelong career for me. Um, I really respect people who it is, but I, I just, I don't think I could do it like year round every year. I couldn't do it. Uh, um, but uh, acting, I'm still acting. Um, obviously it's taken a little bit of a backseat because I'm writing now, painting and bodybuilding. Um, but yeah, I'm still acting and uh, still very much would like to be a an acting lady in the future. Um, okay, we've got time for a few more. I just lost my space. Um, let's see. Does your body always hurt after a workout or the day after it? Is it true that if it doesn't hurt, you're not gaining anything at all? P.S. You are my everyday motivation. I really hope that one day I can be like you. You are doing great. I know that you will win. Greetings from Chile. Hello, Chile. Um, uh, thank you. Um, that's really cool. 
I'm really glad that, I, that I've motivated you. That's the goal. Um, uh, my body, it, it doesn't always hurt now after the gym, but that's because I'm not doing very heavy weights. Um, it depends, I'm not a personal trainer, so I can't really give, I can't really give you advice and I'm not an expert. So, I mean, I, if, I, the, the, with regards to the, is it true if it doesn't hurt, you're not gaining anything at all. Uh, I, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it means you're not eating enough protein and not repairing yourself or not sleeping. I don't know, uh, or you need a hot bath. But um, you'd have to ask like an expert on that. I may seem like one, but I'm not. <laughs> Uh, I think, is that the last question? Yes, that's the last question. So thank you, Facebook. Sorry for the wait. Next time we'll be more prompt. And uh, keep sending your questions and we'll try and get uh, more in the next one.